fabulous places from a fantastic trip. As you can see, I've come out of the studio, the warmth of the studio, to the freezing cold outside our building here in Oxford to see Tim and Joanne. Really good to see you. You too. Thank you. Is it strange to be back? Well, it is. We haven't we haven't even unpacked yet, but it, but it is lovely to be back in in uh, familiar surroundings. What were some of your highs and lows during your adventure? Well, of course, arriving in Oxford, New Zealand was was a major high. It was the end of our outward journey. Um, but there have been so many highs and lows. I guess India probably had the most significant amounts of highs and lows. I mean, India was a chaotic place, but it had so many fascinating aspects and equally so many very awful and challenging aspects to it as well. Um, Driving on the roads in India was probably the, the single most dangerous aspect of the whole journey. I mean, it was just so chaotic, fighting with trucks for space on the road, um, coping with the actual road conditions themselves, the potholes, was really challenging. Your trip really captured people's imagination. Did you anticipate the interest there would be when you left here? I don't think we really knew actually quite what interest we'd get, but it's been fan fantastic really. Um, we've, we've, the car has been um, admired by children from primary school age, right up to you know cool surf dudes in Australia who come past and said, cool car, man. Um, and, and people equally who have owned cars like this um, many years ago or whose parents have owned the car. So um, it's been lovely, actually. We've had a great response everywhere. And what are you going to do with fabulous Florence? <laughs> What's going to happen to her? We're going to keep her. Yeah, We couldn't part with her now after all that she's been through and all that she's done for us in, in travelling across to the other side of the world and back again. She's passed her MOT, I'm delighted to say, but she will need a bit more work, particularly on the body work, which is getting a bit tatty now in places, but we'll keep her. OK, very briefly, what's she planning to do next? Well, hopefully write a book about some of our adventures, maybe put a DVD video together, um, and of course spend a bit more time with our family and friends. <laughs> what have you been up to since you got back? Well, we obviously had to get the car MOT and sort out the administration there. We've got not quite unpacked, but we have spent a lot of time with our families. And in fact, both of our sisters have had babies since we've been away, so it was just lovely Aww. seeing them for the first time. Well, look, I'm going to let you do some celebrating whilst Tim and Joanne celebrate their homecoming. We've got Alistair here with a little bottle of champagne. There you go. Perfectly done. Um, I'll be back during the 10 o'clock news. So I don't have very much time to celebrate. Hope you can join me then. Thank Bye you. for now.